Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I figured I'd film a what I eat in a day video. Um, I know I post a lot of these, but it's just because they're pretty easy to film and I don't really do anything too super exciting in my life. I guess we can make it a like what I eat in a day video slash mini vlog because I don't have a lot of stuff going on today, but there is still some stuff. Um, I'm getting ready to work out. I just woke up, washed my face, put my contacts in, just threw up my hair. I don't know what it's doing. It's just doing something. And then I threw on this pullover. Um, see, okay. So if you follow me on Instagram, I posted something that was like super honest and what I've been going through um, and why I'm, I switched to intuitively eating because I'm sure I've talked to you guys about this, but when I got so consumed into like calorie counting and macros, I became obsessive. I'm a perfectionist in life and I like everything done a certain way. That's just how I live my life. That's how I like to live my life. But that just became way, way, way uh, too controlling for me. Um, and which is why I dedicated my life, my 2021 to trying to really truly practice intuitively eating. Um, and I am not perfect. Please go and read that um, caption on my latest Instagram post because it just expressed everything that I have been wanting to say that I'm not really good at verbally saying um and like things I'm dealing with so yeah I'm just I eat intuitively for the most part there is days where I do not eat the greatest where I overeat where I feel like crap but I'm really really working on that um and I like I have a therapist I read a lot of um books based on like anti-diet and intuitively eating um so I'm, I'm really just taking 20, 2021 to like work on myself but anyway uh, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm eating. I know it, it may not all be super extremely clean and healthy, but I try to eat a balanced plate for the most part. And yeah, I'm trying, I'm just a girl who's trying. You're not meant to live your life constantly trying to lose weight. I took my focus off of being skinny and being tiny, as tiny as I can be, to just being healthy. And instead of being skinny, I'm gonna focus on getting stronger. Like I've already become so much stronger in my workouts and it feels great. Like my, my my biceps are bigger. Like I just feel good. So focusing on being stronger and healthier and making healthier choices, not necessarily being skinny or as thin as I can possibly be. Um, but what I was, I just went off on a little tangent, but what I was gonna say was, if you go back on some of my other videos, you'll see that I've had this sweater for a very long time. Um, and I wore it a lot when we lived in San Diego. And it's actually, let me see if I can like kind of move the camera down. It's actually pretty big on me. <laughs> but it's comfortable. Like here it is. Um, I think this is like a two or three X and then there's me. <laughs> so I don't know. I've still managed, like, even if you guys want to unfollow me because I am no longer solely focusing on, on weight loss. Um, I completely understand. Like that is what my channel really was all about in the beginning, but now it's just focusing on being healthier and just making healthier habits for myself. And you know, even though I am not the like at my lowest weight i'm in and 90 pounds down y'all i've still maintained a 70 pound weight loss 70 to 75 depending on the day um and for two years i've kept all that weight off so even though i'm not where i want to be i've still managed to keep all of that weight off which is in itself super hard maintenance is probably just as hard as as losing the weight and i'm not going to be here forever i don't intend to be here forever i still would like to get down to a, a weight that my body really truly feels comfortable and I look at myself and I'm like, you know what? You look good. Like you feel good. Your clothes fit good. And I'm not there yet, but I accept my body and I love my body for where it's at, but it's okay to still want to work on yourself. Even if your, your goal isn't weight loss, weight loss, weight loss, eat in a calorie deficit every single day, like how I was. So yeah. Also, these are really colorful. They're like a pink purple legging that I got from Old Navy. I like them. They're very cute. Um, they do highlight my stomach, which not my favorite, but they're high waisted. They're pretty comfortable. Um, and it's a pretty color. So yeah, old baby, y'all wanna go get some. You can see my old baby coupons on the fridge. I'm about to go get more um, when those coupons start up. Um, anyway, since I just woke up, I'm gonna wash my water bottle, fill it up with water. I'm gonna go write in my journal because I haven't journaled this morning. And then we're gonna get ready to do an arm workout. So let's do this. All right, y'all, sorry if the camera's kind of like crooked. I try to get it as straight as possible, but sometimes it doesn't. And so my, I know that's kind of triggering, but whatever. Um, so I just got done journaling. That took me a little bit longer because I didn't, sorry, I'm trying to cook bacon. Um, that took me a little bit longer than I thought it was going to because I didn't um, journal this weekend. So I had to like catch up, but I decided I'm gonna have breakfast before I work out because I am 
hungry, like physically hungry. My stomach's growling. Excuse these ugly hairs. Um, so I'm gonna take these last two tortillas I have. Well, actually there's three, so I'll just use two of them. Um, the Mission Carb Balance ones. And then I'm gonna make like a, a quesadilla kind of thing. So I use two pieces of the lower sodium bacon. I'm gonna add spinach, tomato, and then two eggs, which I'm gonna scramble right here. Um, and I'm also making coffee, and then I'll show you what I'm adding into the coffee. But I just wanted to say that even though I'm not calorie counting, I'm still calorie con conscious. I think that's the right word. Um, so like, for example, the Dave's Killer Bread that I get is like 70 calories per slice. I would definitely probably have avocado toast if I had bread, but I need to go buy some today. Um, but that, it's like 70 calories per slice. They have Dave's Killer Bread Normal, which is like 120 per slice. They both taste the same. One is just bigger than the other. So if you can save a little bit of calories, but still have the same like enjoyment as eating a lower calorie version of it, then obviously I'm gonna to gravitate towards the lower calorie. Just because like, why consume more calories um, than you need to if you enjoy the taste of something that happens to be a little bit lower calorie. So yes, I'm still fully aware of like how much I'm eating. Um, I just don't count the calories, if that makes any sense. But this bacon's getting a little crispy, more than I like it to be. So let me finish cooking and then I'll show you what the quesadilla looks like when I assemble it. Last minute, I decided to add a piece of provolone cheese to the um, quesadilla. So it's it's finishing up right now and then I'll show y'all. But to my coffee, oops, sorry, that's what you could see all the steam from. I added a pump of this um, Irish cream skinny syrup, which I actually, normally I order them from the website, but I found this one in Home Goods. And y'all, this might be my new favorite. Ooh, it just flew somewhere. Good thing I don't care about this, right? Um, but yeah, this is probably one of my new favorites. It tastes so freaking good. And then normally when I get almond milk, I usually get the almond milk that has an unsweetened vanilla one. Um, but the other day at Walmart, they didn't have it. So I ended up going with, this is like triggering me right now. I don't know. Just excuse my, how homeless I look, whatever. I'm in the comfort of my own house. Um, but they didn't have it. So I decided to just try like normal, what is this? Like unsweetened original. Honestly, I think I might like this one better. And like a lot of the time when I'm making recipes and it's like, you can use dairy-free milk. Um, normally I know that if I used unsweetened vanilla, it would taste really weird. So I always go and buy like, like little things in milk that look like this. Um, as you can see, like I don't even really use it. I use it for like certain recipes. Um, Cause I'm not like big on milk. I, I don't know how I grew up drinking normal milk because when I taste normal milk now, I get grossed out. It's just so thick and nasty. Um, so yeah, I tried this one and it's actually really good. Now I can use it in other recipes that call for milk um, because this doesn't have a flavor to it. So I'm gonna add like, a, I don't know, just like a splash in it. And then that's my coffee. And then I'll show y'all when I cut up the quesadilla. Okay y'all, so it got a little crispy, but like this is what it looks like. And I um, laid the tomato in it while it was cooking still so yeah it doesn't look really appetizing but I know it's gonna taste really good so I'm really excited to eat that and I told you guys that I added a slice of provolone I just kind of cut it up in it and let it melt in there and then always unsaid but gotta drink a gallon of water a day so I'm gonna eat my breakfast and then probably let that digest for about 20 minutes or so um because I don't like working out immediately after eating I feel really heavy uh and then we're gonna work out I just got done working out <laughs> You could see all the sweat on me. Um, but I forgot to tell you guys that I took, don't tell him, but I took some of Jacob's free workout today because I have my Alani new. Um, but honestly, like I enjoy that flavor, but I'm kind of getting over it. Um, and so the other day, Jacob ran out of free workout and normally he does Beyond Lit, the mango flavor, and he does like the gummy bear flavor, but he discovered the mango and he loves it. I didn't really care for that, but they were out of stock on Amazon. So we tried the Jolly Rancher watermelon and I just tried this today and I dry scooped it. That's actually freaking delicious. I might honestly start ordering that one for myself once I finish my pre-workout. But yeah, I did arms, I did 30 minutes of cardio, and I'm kind of upset because um, mid-workout, sorry guys, um, mid-workout, my freaking cute star stretchy elastic um, watch thing broke. I was trying to put a loop band around myself and it pulled my watch and ripped it off. So I had to like come in here really quick and change into my old just rubbery one. But that was very annoying. I'm very sad. I'm gonna see if I can fix it. I mean, it wasn't very expensive. So if anything, I'll just order another one. But that's just really frustrating. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna drink some water and I'm gonna go take a shower and get ready so that I can go to the grocery store and buy bread because I need avocado toast tomorrow.
I love eating avocado toast and I don't have any bread. So I'm gonna go buy some bread. But first I need to shower and it's a hair wash day because clearly you need some TLC. All right, y'all, so I just got out of the shower. I'm gonna let my hair kind of air dry a little bit before I blow dry it straight um, and then head to the store. But I'm kind of hungry and I don't wanna go to the grocery store um, like really hungry. So I'm gonna make an Amy's pesto bowl. It has, uh, uh, I can't even talk. It has, where does it say that? Obviously it has pasta, basil, garlic, extra virgin olive oil. Um, it has roasted red peppers and broccoli in it. So yeah, I don't know, it looks really good. I've had this before and I've had a lot of her other bowls and they're so freaking good. And then while that's in the microwave, oops, I'm gonna have a little thing of carrots and a cheese stick cause I'm hungry. So I'll heat it up and then show y'all what that looks like when it's uh, cooked. This is what the Amy's bowl looks like after it's microwaved and I've stirred it up. Um, it, as you can tell, it comes with like a, a good amount of pesto in it. You can see the chunks of broccoli. I did add Parmesan cheese on top, um, but it, there, it's really, really good. And also this is like the first um, brand of like freezer mills that I've actually tried that you don't have to add any salt or anything. They're they like perfectly seasoned. They're gluten-free and stuff. Um, I've also tried some of the burritos and they're pretty good, but yeah highly 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 recommend i get these at walmart but i'm sure you could find them anywhere um in the freezer section and of course i have my water i just got back from the grocery store um yeah i didn't even show you all my outfit today it's just this looney tune shirt that i got from walmart and i cropped myself uh this is an old navy fuzzy jacket that is actually an activewear jacket because it has like the little like thumb hole thingies i don't ever use those but yeah i like it i actually got i'm gonna kind of put the camera a little lower I actually got these jeans. I don't know if you guys can even see. Hold on, sorry, I'm gonna send y'all up on some food. <laughs> um, nope, still can't see. Let's try again. Okay, so I got these jeans from Walmart. Like they're just skinny jeans. I know skinny jeans are out, but I really like these. These are five dollars, and they're junior sized, so I had to get a fifteen. But like, they're so cute. I have no butt, but like, yeah. And they fit really well. And then I, obviously I have my white vans on that are too big because apparently losing weight means that your shoes don't fit you anymore. So they're way too big, um, but that's the outfit. Now on to my little grocery haul. So I originally went there for like two things, but you know, that never, never works. Um, Jake and I love these tortillas. Honestly, I kind of like these better than the mission ones I had this morning. Um, when I got those mission ones, I thought I was reached for these ones, but it wasn't. Uh, and those ones are 70 calories. These are about the same size and they're only 45. Um, and they were on sale two for six. So I got two packs of them because Jacob and I go through these like really fast. Um, I also picked up some more Dave's Killer Bread because I love it. And then we picked up, or we, I mean, I picked up uh, some potato rolls that we use as um, hamburger buns because Jacob loves this brand of bread and this like potato bread in general. Um, when Savannah was visiting, she, all she would eat sandwiches on was this potato roll bread because it's so good. Um, and I bought like super lean patties that we're probably gonna have on Wednesday. Uh, so I had to pick up that. And then for dinner tonight, since I'm making a stir fry, I was gonna use a marinade that I have as the stir fry sauce. Sorry, there's, I keep seeing a car driving up and down, but they're just getting their mail. Um, I was gonna use stir fry marinade, but then I was like, I'll, since I'm here, I'll just buy some stir fry sauce. Of course, Food Lion brand, cause I'm cheap. And then I, um, I don't want to make a whole pot of, of white rice because usually when I make a big pot of rice, I like to make it Mexican rice or chicken flavored rice. Excuse me, because um, we're going to be eating it like with a couple meals, but white rice is just so bland to like always eat. So I figured because we're going to have chicken stir fry, um, I would just pick up like one of these little microwavable jasmine rices and we love jasmine rice. And this is actually the brand I already use to cook my jasmine rice. Sometimes this brand, sometimes Walmart brand, great value. Um, but I figured Jacob and I could just split this pack. Yeah, it has two servings in it. We could split it and that'll be for tonight's dinner. But then I also saw that they had this new um, cilantro lime jasmine rice. And I wanted to try that out because that sounds really good. And every time I try to make it myself, it does not taste that great. So I'm excited to see how this tastes. And then if it tastes good, I'll probably continue to buy it because convenience. And then I also picked up two zucchinis because I tried to get frozen zucchinis um, from the, what is it called? The Great Value Steamable ones. But they are really, really, really soggy when you steam them in the microwave. And it's just it's not the vibe I'm going for. I like a little bit of like crunch when I cook these in the pan and I cut them up. So I just got two of them. 
Um, I don't really have a plan of what I'm gonna use those for, but I know I'll use them because I love zucchini. And then I picked up two packs of the stir fry veggies because I noticed last night I didn't have any and I was gonna just use broccoli and cauliflower rice, but I was like, well, might as well pick up some. So I picked up this and I picked up another bag. And then I also saw these on sale. And um, I don't know if you've ever tried these broccoli and cheese tots, but they're really, really, really good. Um, so I picked these up, but they were two for six, and I saw these ones, and even though I'm not a huge cauliflower person, unless I can like mask the taste, um, these intrigued me. If they would have had broccoli ones, I probably would have preferred those, but they only had it in cauliflower, but it's cauliflower, cheese, and bacon tots. Like, how good does that sound? I don't know how they taste, I've never had it, but that sounds freaking delicious. So I'm excited to try these. I figured um, on Wednesday when we have the burgers, we'll have some tots on the side. I also picked up, uh, this is, these are like, I'm getting on to the last things. Uh, some of this protein because I'm, I ran out of Premier and I was like pricing them and the Premier was like a dollar more expensive for four of them than this four. And I was like, well, I like Fairlife. This is lactose free. It's vanilla and it's actually 30 calories less than the uh, Premier proteins. So I was like, well, let's try it out. It doesn't hurt. It's four of them. Um, it intrigued me. And then the last thing I bought or the last couple things I bought were some Q-tips. Just needed some Q-tips. And then uh, my friend... I think my friend Amy is the person who I originally saw these from. Her little girls used to drink these. Um, and then I saw these in the milk section because I was just like walking around at this point. Um, that's why I always end up spending more money and buying more things than I intended to. But I saw these little chocolate straws. They also had strawberry flavored, but I just went with the chocolate ones because I do like strawberry milk, but it's not my favorite. I'd rather have chocolate milk. Um, and I figured I could just pour a glass of almond milk. And this is like 25 calories for a straw. And you just put it in there and you drink your milk. And it makes it taste like chocolate milk. So I was like, how freaking cool. Yeah, I don't know. It just intrigued me. And yeah, that's everything I got. I'm going to change it to sweats so I can be comfortable. And then I'm going to do some household stuff before Jacob comes home. And then uh, we'll make dinner. All right, y'all. Sorry for like the low angle, but I don't want to set you guys up on my tripod because it's just too much work right now. But I'm going to have one of these little chocolate milk straws that I got. The ones I showed you guys earlier. Um, and then I just have some like almond milk right here. And so apparently you don't cut it. It's like kind of squeezed right here, but there's like little tiny holes and you don't have to mix it in or anything. So let's see. It's kind of hard to drink. It tastes like almond milk. I've been played. Maybe I can mix it a little bit. I mean, it's not doing anything, but Just says, place straw in a glass of milk, drink through straw and enjoy. Mmm. Okay, you have to kind of let it sit for a second and then it tastes like chocolate milk. But yeah, I'm going to drink this and probably in about 30 minutes or so, I'm going to start dinner. Okay, I just saw y'all when I was drinking my chocolate milk, but Jacob decided he wanted to eat one of my cookies that I made. It's a s'mores cookie, so it has marshmallow in it, but he didn't want to eat the whole thing, so we split it. So yeah, I'm going to eat that too. So it's just about six o'clock and I just made dinner and this took like 10 minutes. Uh, underneath here, I have a little bit of the jasmine rice and then the stir fry bread, I can't even talk, the stir fry vegetables and the chicken. And I love these little baby corn. And then I also have a Diet Coke. So that's dinner. All right, y'all, so I'm going to end the night with one of the cookies I made, two scoops of pistachio ice cream, just because that sounds really good, and this little dark chocolate Hershey's nugget that has, an like, almonds in it. And yeah, I'm going to sit here in my room and eat that while I read a couple of chapters of this book. I always talk about it. So far, um, it's pretty good. I am, what, on 70 pa 72 pages in. I definitely have a took I took a break off of like reading it for a little bit just because life kind of got busy but I do want to finish it soon so I'm gonna continue to read it because there's a lot of good reviews about it and so far I like what I've read so yeah I'm gonna read some of that eat eat my ice cream and my cookie and be done for the night I already finished my water but I did fill up my water one more time just in case I get thirsty and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did please give it a thumbs up I appreciate y'all being here and I don't really have a lot to say so yeah, I know I don't eat the greatest, but it is a full day of eating intuitively, which I did and I'm happy and that's all that matters. And even if you guys don't agree with my food choices, like that's fine. 
everyone has their own opinions on how I should live my life, but this is my life. <laughs> Um, and I'm happy. That's all that matters. So yeah, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye guys.